Hey millionaire, it's great to have you back. As you might already know, on this channel, we go out of our way to bring you the most exciting stories about the luckiest and unluckiest lottery winners. And today, we have a really interesting story that shocked the world. After a 20-year-old kid managed to win $451 million using the law of attraction and became a victim of scammers that even affected Oprah's well. But enough talk, let's dive right in. Who is this lucky kid? On January 5th, 2018, when he was just a 20-year-old boy, Shane Missler became the winner of the $451 million Mega Millions jackpot. After purchasing five quick pick tickets at a 7-Eleven in Pasco County, Florida, he hit the jackpot with one of them, matching numbers 28, 30, 39, 59, 70, and the Mega Ball 10. Missler's feat was no small feat, and it is estimated that only one person in 302 million had a chance to win this prize. That's really low odds. Before becoming a multi-millionaire, Shane Missler was originally from Maine. He grew up in Maine until finally moving to Port Ritchie, Florida, where he spent most of his childhood. After graduating from Spruce Mountain High School in 2015 and pursuing a degree in business administration, he ended up becoming one of the luckiest people on the planet. Who knew those studies would one day end up helping him manage his own fortune? However, even Shane's peaceful life would become overrun with problems after becoming a millionaire. Keep watching because it gets super crazy. The day scammers came into Shane Missler's life, it turned into a horror story. Although Shane was not a direct victim of the thousands of scammers that abound on the internet, many other people fell victim to their clutches, using his image and causing him to be collaterally affected. After it became known that he had won the lottery, numerous fake accounts began to evade the internet. No matter what website you surfaced, it wasn't too hard to find a Shane impersonator giving away money in exchange for following his account. Among the numerous posts, one particular fake tweet caused quite a stir after an imposter would use Shane's image to promise to give away $5,000 to the first 50,000 people who followed him. Even if the account did not belong to the real Shane, the post quickly went viral and was shared tens of thousands of times. Missler's image went viral in the media and on social networks, leaving Shane with no choice but to resign himself to accept the new reality in which he had been forced to become rich and famous. Which, if you think about it, it wouldn't be all that bad if it wasn't for all those fake imposters using his fame for personal gain. Believe me, the day you win the lottery, the number of fake accounts and rumors that will circulate about you will be overwhelming unless you decide to stay anonymous. And if not, just ask Shane, who was hounded all over the world. Among these many accounts, there was one case in particular that caught the attention of the authorities, and that is the Shane Missler Charitable Foundation. At just 20 years old, and with little time to process his recent fortune, Shane Missler was not yet ready to create a charitable foundation. But of course, there were thousands of others delighted to take advantage of Shane's rise to fame, to use his image and name posing as a respectable institution for the sole purpose of stealing money. The Shane Missler Charitable Foundation was not only not real, but it was a phishing scheme designed to steal personal and even banking information. For those of you to whom the word phishing sounds like Greek, we use the term to refer to a crime that involves tricking other people into sharing their personal information, along with their numerous credit cards. As with actual phishing, there is more than one way to catch a victim, and even the most astute fish must be vigilant when navigating the great and dangerous ocean that is the internet. One of the most common means of contact criminals use is email and text messages. However, even phone calls and social networks are not immune to this practice. In fact, it is hard to imagine a place where scammers help. While some criminals choose to use coercion to subdue their victims, the fake Shane Missler Charitable Foundation doesn't even need to do any of that. After all, who would think that the young man who just won $451 million would want to steal money from them? With the idea in mind, criminals started spreading fake emails promising money, and soon, such scams spread. And it just escalated from there, even getting Oprah involved. So keep watching. As one of the richest women globally, it is no news that con artists have also tried to use this famous star's image for their sinister purposes. But what does Shane have to do with any of this, you may be wondering. Well, it seems that the scammer's efforts to take advantage of Shane Missler's image didn't stop there. After the initial fake account frenzy started to cool down, a fake tweet from Oprah 
claiming that Shane Missler was giving away money began circulating on the internet. Needless to say, people flocked to claim their money, and the Missler name was caught up in yet another new controversy. Although being a millionaire has not been as easy as he had once expected it to be, Shane has never let that kind of money and fame get in the way of his true purpose in life. According to a statement after his win, Missler said he wanted to use his money to pursue his passions, help his family, and do something good for the world, but not before having some fun and building a path to financial success. So far, Shane Missler seems to have kept his promise and can be seen in very good health, enjoying his well-deserved winnings via social media. Fortunately, his account has also been verified to prevent this type of situation from arising. By now, you might already know when exactly did Shane's problems start, but there's an important lesson here that I want to share with you, so let's move on. While it can be hard to hide the fact that you've made enough money to buy your entire neighborhood in one transaction, and Shane was certainly capable of doing so, this young millionaire made a fundamental mistake by going public in the media. If you yearn to become a millionaire and believe in the law of attraction as much as I do, we're sure you'll be able to become one. That's why we recommend you avoid going on TV publicly when the big day comes, to save yourself a lot of trouble. Some states allow you to stay anonymous, others allow you to form a trust to claim your prize, and unfortunately, others, well, force you to go public. So there is nothing to do in that case. Despite the situation Shane was involved in, there are many good things to rescue about this young man. And that is his mentality. Shane Missler became one of the richest people in the US, not just because of luck, but of decision making as well. From the moment he played those miraculous lottery numbers, he was convinced he would become a winner, either that day or the next. For some people, the law of attraction is based on the belief that the mind can influence people's lives through our thoughts. For me, it's more than that. It's not just the power of belief that allows you to achieve amazing things, but the action that comes along with that belief. If Shane had never believed he could win the lottery, he would have never played the lottery and therefore would never have wasted his money on it. In other words, if he had that kind of thinking, he would have been right. He would never be able to win the lottery because he would never have dared to play it. You see, our thoughts have a powerful influence on who we are and who we'll become. It's not just luck that makes some players winners, but a positive mindset. Having analyzed dozens of successful people on our channel, we are convinced that this is one of the main reasons some people manage to become rich or succeed in their business, despite all the odds being against them. Because they are not afraid of failure and they are willing to try until they succeed. However, there's another lesson we can learn about this multi-millionaire lottery winner, self-control. Shane Missler bought five lottery tickets, not one ticket, but not a hundred of them either. In other words, he was bold enough to increase his odds of winning the lottery without needing to make a decision he would regret. He took his bet as a gamble. If you want to win the lottery, you can't just sell your house and buy as many tickets as you can, because no matter how many of them you get, even winning is not a certainty. Applying the law of attraction to win a fortune as immense as Missler's, and knowing when you should quit the game or to what extent it is wise enough to do so. If you manage a positive mindset in your day-to-day -day life and put this powerful law into practice, we are sure that you'll be able to achieve amazing results and that nothing will be impossible for you. Maybe it won't come playing the lottery, but you can be the creator of something great that takes your life to a whole new level. And all of this because you dared to believe in yourself and a brighter future. The story of Shane Missler is truly amazing. A 20-year-old who managed to beat all the odds, hit the jackpot, and win a fortune worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Yet, even his success story was influenced by numerous unfortunate events that we hope you will learn from, so you won't make the same mistakes.